we now have this news of uh, Clinton's uh, health scare and on Friday during follow-up evaluation of her prolonged cough she was diagnosed with pneumonia. She was put on antibiotics and advised to rest and modify her schedule according to Lisa Bartak, uh, Hillary Clinton's doctor. Now uh, we have uh, this uh, problem with this news which is that uh, it is not like uh, pneumonia is a treatable condition in others because in her case it is uh, some somewhat special uh, because of her lifestyle uh, which is full of stress for psychological stress a pe person who is running for president is coming under a lot of psychological and physical uh, pressures uh, stress and so uh, pneumonia in this condition uh, has to be looked at in a different way. Secondly, uh, pneumonia is a peculiar condition in that uh, even with the best of antibiotics it can have a very high mortality rate in certain age groups and vulnerable persons. In her case uh, we see a combination of these conditions. Firstly, she belongs to the elderly age group. Uh, the second is that uh, she already has what you call uh, an allergic reaction. So in order to overcome that allergic reaction, in her case, the lifestyle, the unhealthy lifestyle adds to the risk. Now uh, this is how it works. Like she has to appear uh, healthy uh, despite her physical condition. So in order to achieve that, uh, there is a overkill of prescriptions uh, because she cannot afford to sneeze or be seen coughing which is what happened in her last appearance a couple of times uh, she was upstage uh, and she was coughing having severe cough even during the in-flight clips which we now don't even come to see I saw that clip uh, she was uh, turned back and walking because she couldn't control the cough probably to have a shot of steroids and come back and face the reporters again so she is being uh, what you call uh, over prescribed uh, immunosuppressants especially corticosteroids uh, so that she does she does not embarrass herself uh, by having anything like severe cough episode uh, respiratory distress where you had to rush in the oxygen cylinders put her on and uh, that is stretchers and all those things which will damage her uh, what you call health uh, stand which she maintains is uh, impeccable uh, and as good as any so in order to achieve that, uh, probably Dr. Liza, you know, prescribed uh, pumped her a lot of immunosuppressants, other than steroids also, because you know you have to suppress the immunity, cause the allergies from actually triggering a cough bout during uh, many appearances. Even constant talking in normal people will lead to cough. So you know, in a, in her position, you can imagine she is already having some allergic reactions. So they they probably uh, what you call screwed up. Uh, uh, immune system making her again vulnerable to infections you see she's traveling doing air travel and all that interacting with a lot of people so she has a community acquired uh, chest infection so this community acquired chest infection uh, in turn you see adds up to the whole thing like so she has got a chest infection uh, with serious pneumonia and of course pneumonia uh, can also you know uh, mimic certain other serious conditions like pulmonary edema or whatever it is because of some other condition. So primary illness is not pneumonia per se. But in her case, we can see why this happened. Uh, because is it, uh, uh, immune suppression led to her getting exposed to uh, infections and that, uh, you know, rapidly progressing pneumonia. So in her case, it's rapidly progressing. So in order to again appear to be normal, uh, they are going to what you call uh, either give her intensive treatment mm, in a secret facility or they are going to what you call uh, take the risk of uh, not giving her adequate uh, medical uh, support, uh, medical treatment uh, to her serious chest condition. That alone can kill her. So what happens is uh, they are going to mishandle it uh, seriously. So this chest infection is going to go you know, out of control. She is going to go for probably respiratory uh, failure, pulmonary edema, respiratory failure, things like that. In which anyway you will be forced to, uh, I, and in that case uh, you will be having to uh, admit her in an intensive care unit. The second thing about it is that the duration of this illness, uh, it's going to last for at least 12 weeks in her case because in the elderly people uh, it takes 12 weeks for pneumonia to come under control, which means uh, much of her campaign 
uh, she will not be able to do. Suppose if she does it, then it means that she is going to put in other, another kind of a serious stress into her health system, which, which may break down any time again. So she is already a wreck. And so <laughs> we see she, unfortunately, it's sad, but uh, she, she has she's in no condition to do any campaign. It's obvious, but they are not admitting it because th this uh, personality is, is like that to deny the obvious, to obfuscate facts, uh, to misrepresent the, uh, what is the underlying uh, issue, uh, then misdirect it, accuse others of conspiracy. This is not a conspiracy theory. Uh, in the case, it's a legitimate question. The health of the POTUS is a legitimate question because America going forward is going to face a lot of uh, serious challenges and the president has to be really, you know, uh, in a good physical condition, good mental condition to face those challenges. And that is that is the least uh, requirement there. If her health is failing even in the campaign, imagine she has to uh, go through these kind of issues, serious issues, taking uh, assuming office. Yeah, the Iran there, the Korea there, making bomb things like that. The second, it impacts the world also. You see, it's like if the portus is dysfunctional, ha having health issues and things like that. Uh, well, it impacts the world because downstream are countries that, that will be impacted. So it is a legitimate question for the uh, journalists around the world or, or for other, other people to ask this question uh, whether she will be she is in fact as healthy as it is claimed by her campaign uh, now regarding this one more thing is that uh, in her case I told you uh, the uh, duration of the treatment is, go is go required is going to be at least 12 weeks uh, the second thing is important thing is the prognosis that is what we can expect in a condition Say the norm in in the normal infections or normal cases where you know ordinary people the bacterial pneumonia will stabilize within a week. In her case, obviously it doesn't, and that is why she's coughing and coughing and coughing. And then this collapse came because or the pneumonia is going relentlessly ahead because they have been suppressing their uh, the uh, the uh, causative factor, which is allergy, allergy allergens in the air. Uh, allergic substances. So she, they, she was pumped with immunosuppressant. The immune, you suppress the immune, uh, immune system of a person, it exposes that person to all kinds of lethal uh, bacteria. In her case, it could be also viral. So in which case is doubly serious. In bacterial infections, you can expect that if you do some culture, find out the bacteria and the appropriate antibiotics and administer them. Provided in an intensive care unit with a lot of you know, clean environment and stuff like that, yes, you can. Uh, it is not so serious as you think. But then, if it is a viral, then uh, or a mixed infection like a bacterial and a viral infection, viral pneumonias are not so amenable to antiviral drugs. Uh, and even with the latest generation of antiviral drugs, viral viruses, viral infections are something you can do nothing about, like say para influenza virus or things like that. So she has been doing a lot of air travel, right? So he have in fact this problem, which could have in fact been created by her own uh, demands on the physician. We can't blame Dr. Liz actually, but uh, her patient's condition is such that she has to appear to be normal. So uh, probably for that reason, uh, she agreed to probably increase the minus. Certainly the physician had a role to play in this, what we are seeing now here, and we may see downstream and it may come out, like in Michael Jackson's case, that uh, the physician was administering her immunosuppressants and that caused her the pneumonia and that in turn caused her a lot of problems. Besides that, this uh, pneumonia is not the primary illness, it is only a secondary illness and the primary illness is something systemic. So it could be anything, it could be a cardiovascular or a cerebrovascular illness and a systemic illness that is in turn causing uh, these problems, that's pneumonia that we are seeing. Uh, so that is a medical update here. Uh, well, uh, let us see how it pans out. Uh, they as usual downplay things, everything is fine. Uh, the frequent thing is she is talking about conspiracy theories. Do you need a conspiracy theory to uh, see something like what we saw, like she is collapsing, like she has been carried, carried like a stone zombie out of an uh, event like 9-11, she can't even stand uh, during the commemoration event. And you know, does it require a conspiracy theory to see, uh, look at this very pathetic picture here? It's just look, it's amazing that uh, they even suggest this. Uh, for everything, you know, she's, she's deflecting uh, 
uh, the serious questions about, say, for email or whatever, whichever issue you're asking her, she's passing the buck. Uh, aides are responsible. The, fair, uh, the justice department, she told, it seems had headers, must be had. She's explaining. She's telling. Uh, <laughs> it's very funny. She's telling the, to the FBI one thing and another to the people. Uh, to the FBI, she's saying. Uh, we, she usually has a clear header like this, like that. How did she know? She told the FBI that she couldn't recollect uh, how these things are to be uh, you know, approached or classified or how these things work. That's what she says uh, repeatedly. Uh, about 40 times she said that uh, I cannot recollect uh, how these things work. I have now you know, been briefed. I have now been trained. I have now been schooled in how to handle classified material. And she coolly is saying that in this uh, commander in chief forum that uh, this is how it works. Now she is taking lessons to the Justice Department and accusing the uh, Justice Department. This is how it must be done and told them clearly and they didn't do it. See, look, always blaming others. So this condition is brought upon herself. It's in a way a poetic justice. It is like Twin Towers is not just a, a calamity or tragedy for America. It is a calamity for the free world. And so, you know, what collapsed there perhaps is the spirit of America. And so, you know, a person like this stepping in into the office of the president with, with this kind of threats, global threats around, and her, we know her position, what we did, what she did, uh, two administrations of Obama, toppled all these regimes uh, that put a kind of a lid on these Islamists and they unleashed them like a Pandora's box uh, upon the free world. And that is my worry, actually, that what will happen with another administration like this, uh, we will all downstream, we live downstream. And what impacts America is going to affect us very badly. And so, you know, that is the reason we take a kind of an adverse interest in uh, this particular candidate's uh, uh, choice of the Democratic Party. Even otherwise, with any, any other candidate also, they, it could be said that Obama's uh, wrong pro-Islamist policies could be carried on by these uh, other candidates like say Bernie Sanders or on that, but not to the extent of Clinton who has a hand, both the hands and feet dip into this bloody mess that we see all over the world. All right, that's for now. And that is the health thing. It's not like what you see. She is, she is in trouble. Uh, her campaign is in trouble. Uh, but this shows a lot about, you know, how things are done. You know, you see uh, the truth behind, uh, the suppressed truth, the cover-ups, and the need to always appear. Well, why are these people surrounding and not giving a clear view? If she says she feels great, uh, so if she's feeling that great, she should look great. Why are they covering up that she's stumbling, helped into the car, and then again appearing like some kind of a showman? She's appearing just like that. I see I'm Superman and Supergirl. What, what nonsense is this? It's like, what, what is the need to appear to be healthy when you're not healthy? You could be honest about it. Yes, I have a health problem. Why can't she be, do that? I think even till her last breath, she will tell a lie. That I'm still alive, maybe she'll say, and people will believe it. All right, that's for now, folks. Bye-bye.